anyway. I'm outside another French uh, cafe in Annecy, in the Alps, and it can only mean, well, it can mean multiple things, but in this instance, it's another shoddy video. A video series that um, hopefully will be weekly, and um, is basically an excuse for me to do what I want. I have been given free range to do, uh, yeah, anything and everything within a weekly series. So let us know if there's anything you want to see, want to know, want me to do in the comments below. But this week, I've got something a little bit special for you. A video interview that I gathered while I was at the tour down under the other week with a certain gentleman who's jumped ship from Ineos to Bahrain Merida. A man who's learnt a few things, I'm guessing, from Dave Brailsford and taken them over to the Bahrain team. Rod Ellingworth, the man who is now general manager of the team. He took gardening leave mid-season from Ineos last year once the news broke that he would be leading the helm at Bahrain. And, uh, well, I sat down with him in a very fancy um, motor vehicle. Pretty easy to guess what one it is. And asking, I'm guessing, not the normal questions. We are... We're rolling. We're here in a... We are literally rolling. We're in a fancy automobile by one of the, not sponsors, but team owners of, um, well, I, I, what is it, Fiat? Fiat. Christ. Bahrain McLaren. Um, first time you've drove one of these, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. First time, yeah. What's the reason? Yeah. Just a little bit. You I should be. You're the one. Be. You're the one with the insurance job if you get some problems. Yeah. Look at that. Get that Look at that. No, I'm not going to be a boy racer. Yeah, I'll just cruise around, eh? Surely you must have been a bit of a boy racer growing no, up, I've though. I've never been a boy racer. No, I'm just a bit of a cruiser, me. I like to cruise around. Wait, watch out! You were a boy racer. You uh, started your racing career in France, didn't you? With UC Orb, Orbs, was it? Uh, UV, well, UV Orb and UVC Orb, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was a few years back, yeah. What, at what age were you then? Oh, I was like early 20s or so when, yeah. Have you seen their jersey for this season? No. Is it bad? I haven't got a clue, no, I wouldn't know. Let's just say, people should jump on the internet if they want um, <laughs> one, one of the world's most interesting jerseys. Let's just say it's sponsored by a lingerie company. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow, OK. Right, Rod, seen we're in a car, um, and will people will have seen car videos before with famous people. Yeah, Unfortunately, famous. you're not famous. <laughs> um, what about a bit of singing? Rod the Mod. What are, you, what, what are we going to go down? Bit of Paul Weller? No, no, no. I, I don't know. What do you want to sing? What should we do? No, who, who's, a, who's a good singer on the team? Then? Or who's been the best singer um, on one, any of the teams you've worked with? Well, Sky, at the British Cycling. Who's got a good voice? Bloody hell, I've heard many of them singing, I can tell you. Brad always thought he was, but I'm not sure, you know. I, I heard Fumi singing once, and it was horrendous. Really? Horrendously bad, yes, yeah. I saw that that was actually quite funny. I think he was doing karaoke somewhere and yeah, that was horrendously bad. But he loved it. He thought he was like top dollar. So he was a bit tanked up, was he? Had a few bevies? No, I don't think he had had a few bevies. That's what was even better, that he actually went at it, you know. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm, I, I've got an absolute shit voice as well, actually. Right. Yeah, my missus has a go at me all the time when I'm singing away. Because I do actually quite like to sing away in the car. And the kids get annoyed at me as well, actually, yeah. You know, when you're singing Frozen, Totally yeah. out of tune or something. Let it go. Yeah. Not having that problem soon when you get one of these, what kids won't be able to sit in the back? Well, I don't think I'll get the choice, actually. I don't think the missus will let me have one of these at home. <laughs> it would be a waste of time for me. <laughs> Your new signing, Cav, uh, he's got one, hasn't he? And he's a bit of a boy racer, or used to be. I remember seeing, uh, did they have like a Renault 207 or something I like know. that? He, I remember, the, well, the first time I saw him, he had like a 205 or something, was it? I don't know, Peugeot. I can't remember now, actually, exactly what it was. But it was um, pretty horrendous, yeah, what he used to drive back in the day. And now look at him, yeah. You remember him when he was a young lad. Uh, would Chav be a safe word to Absolutely. say? Absolutely. <laughs> He's back under your wing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, last time would have been at Sky. Um, when he was on the same team, yeah, and and, and then I was still I, I worked with Cav through the Olympics in 2016, 
Go and buy Rod's yeah. book, uh, Rainbow Project, available in all Project good Rainbow. discount shops. <laughs> you French, <laughs> doing it backwards. But many people had said, that's it, he's done, dusted, he's uh, not going to come back and see us. What have you seen in him? What do you know, previous history-wise, from him that you think, right, yeah, he's still going to be a world beater? Well, you know, people don't lose the talent, do they? You know, you, especially when you, it's quite evident what's happened there. He's been sick, he, he had the concussion. Um, you know, the, the, the management of his health, I think, was, you know, in question. And I think... Um, it's quite obvious to me what, what's happened, you know. And you don't just lose talent. Yes, you get older and, and it's hard to sort of maintain and people's lives change, you know, and you get different stresses in life. But in the main, I think he's, um, you know, the talent is still there, isn't it? I think it's just the... Um, Listen to that engine. Purring away, eh? No, the talent's still there. I think it's just, you know, it's all about, you know, how hard is he going to work and... We'll soon see, you know. Yeah, no. Who else are you looking forward to working with then? Well, you, you know, there's people like Mohic, who I think is a you know, big talent, Pelo Bilbao, uh, Caruso, Cobrelli, all these guys. You know, the, I mean, there's, you know, we've got 29 riders. I think we've got um, Kevin Inglou, people perhaps wouldn't have heard of, Fred Wright, you know, young British guy. Think about Mikel Lander, Wout Powell. Get them on their A game and they're going to be, you know, a pretty decent team when they're together. Is it difficult to get in know, getting to know these lads? Well, it's just time, isn't it? Yeah. You can't rush it. You know, people like Seaberg, Housley, you know, some of the older guard who, you know, they're, they're certainly characters and they're quite loud and um, I'm pretty sure they're like a whip round in one of these. Housler would definitely. He definitely would, yeah. He, he strikes me as a good boy racer, doesn't he? But he's a lad that um, obviously has a wealth of knowledge, wealth of experience through the peloton, especially for the classics. Do you think he's somebody else that maybe hasn't been uh, managed, looked after well? Because you're a people person, Rod. And you say, yeah. looking after people well, is he's more he's important he's than all the money and all the tech that a team can offer somebody. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I do. I really do. And, I, and you never know with some people. They, they, um, you know, they get a new lease of life with a new direction or something. You know, And I think uh, currently at the minute, you know, that's the feedback I'm getting a little bit from some of these guys is... They feel the difference in the team. You know, there's a there's a certain drive, and we're going in a certain direction, and they're buying into that direction. Uh, House is a little bit like Cav in that sense of you know they're not old men; they're young guys really, uh, with loads of experience in this game. And you get them in the right place, right frame of mind, and who knows what they can do. Hey, uh, let me think of a question, Rod, because I really didn't. I, I did not expect. I did not expect the, not team the team to let. Me, yeah, you drive me around like a taxi driver. Yeah. It's not about taxis. It? It's not at all. Not at all. Did you have, did you ever expect like? I'll be driving oh, you no. around. In yeah, the yeah. Do you like, think you'd have that privilege? It wasn't my dream to do this. How long have you been in the sport now? But I mean, working uh, yeah. like like twenty years really. Yeah. Looking back as a young lad, looking forward in the future, if you said right, young, young, young. young, young, young oh, no, me a young yeah, lad yeah, or? yeah. You here we are, young Rod. I've yeah. come back from the future. I've come from the past back to the. No, come from oh. the future, back to past. Yeah. This is where you're going to be in 15, 20 years. Would have you gone, nah, rubbish. No, not at all. I've never, ever believed I'd be doing this, this rat race, yeah. I mean, it's, it's mad, isn't it? I keep thinking to myself, how the hell have I... You know, you think about Tour de France or whatever and, and you're responsible for a team doing that. It's like, it's pretty bonkers, really, yeah. It's yeah. I'm, I, I, I can honestly say I'm absolutely loving every minute of it. What's been, like, that the highest high, then? You know, Cav winning the world was massive. You know, because it really was like a major moment in for British cycling, for him, for that era of cyclists in the UK. It was massive. And then I think G winning the tour. Why G and not like Wiggins well, or? Uh, you know, I felt more connected to G and nothing and nothing ta taking nothing away from uh, Bradley or Fumi's wins at all. It was just that you know, Geraint was, you know, I was very connected to Geraint and his life in a way. Well, that was like. You know, just in a, a personal sort of like, bloody hell, that was something special. Yeah. Oh, that was massive, you know. And, and to be honest with you, I think actually the one of the best performances where I was like just totally blown away was um, Fumi's win, that stage 19 of the Giro. I was I was part of the, the some of the planning for the stage and how it worked out, just doing my normal job. But bloody hell, that was impressive. I, I knew what happened in the team and I knew... Um, you know the, the the talk that night before and Fumi's ambition and you know it, it was 
it was properly planned it wasn't bullshit you know it was like he was going to go for it he was like I'd rather finish 20th than finish 4th I've not been in anything this fancy before. It's lovely, actually. It feels yeah. absolutely brilliant to drive, yeah. Go on, sell us it. Sell I'd us, sell really us. Really no, come on, sell us a car. Completely, I'd be completely wrong to try and do that. It's slightly slower from 0 to 60. It's something like 3.8 seconds, where the others are 3.1 seconds. That's total bullshit, by the way. But it's, it is something like that, I've heard. Are you looking forward to working with these guys? Is it all that going to be a tech thing, or is there no, more no. to it than that? No, I'll tell you one, one thing that I think people, you know, it's not going to be all that. I think the, the big thing really is, one thing is what I've learned with McLaren is they do stuff with real passion and, and real love for the sport, for sport. I think, you know, we have this sort of saying of, you know, um, you know we, you've got passion meets technology. That's one of the sort of sayings in the team. And, and it's all about having the respect for the past, but pushing the future as well. And, you know, um, I, I don't want to, Cycling is everything, isn't it? For, yeah. for me, is in my life. So you don't want to lose the core element, but we do want to win. So to win, you've got to keep moving forward. That's the thing, you know. You've got to learn and move forward. Right, that is it from me and Rod. Actually, though we did say plenty more, which I might include in a podcast or a bit of an article later on at some time. So please keep. Uh, looking over at the site now and again. I know for one, I'm looking forward to seeing how the team get on underneath Rod's uh, leadership. I know there's plenty of people out there with reservations on the team, which is understandable. But let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of the video, uh, what you'd like to see in future episodes of this, all in the comments below, of course. Give us a like while you're down there. Uh, subscribe as well. You must do that. And until next time, thank you for watching and enjoy your riding.